What is up, Pats Nation? It is your boy Patriots Global back with another video on the Patriots signing wide receiver, but mostly special teamer, um, Matthew Slater to a two-year deal. Now we don't know money-wise what this deal is. Um, this happened today, and I figured, you know, I should stop just waiting um, to get more details, and I should probably should get this out to you as soon as possible. More than likely, I will leave the numbers below about money when it comes out. But yeah, if you remember. He um, visited with the Steelers on Saturday, and he ended up leaving. I guess there was an interest, couldn't figure out something. Basically, he just left. Um, and everyone was saying, yeah, um, Sl Slater's done in New England. He um, is 32 years old, so there's not much. I mean, injuries have really gotten to the guy, too. And after signing Cordero Patterson, everyone was like, this dude is out. There's no way he's returning. But the Patriots signed him to a two-year deal. And um, what is great about this is that, I mean, I don't know money-wise, so I can't be like, this is, you know, um, great-wise for money. But I wouldn't think it'd be, like, extremely up there. But a great thing about Slater is that he, when he is um, playing on special teams, he draws a lot of double coverage, which, which helps... Um, the you know like the return and find other holes and it helps the other blockers be able to block other people so that is a good thing about Slater is that he does draw double coverage um and honestly guys this just ensures us almost 100 percent to be quite honest that the Patriots are going to have again one if not the best special teams unit in football again with uh, Nate Ebner being signed with Slater now being signed with Cordero Patterson being signed. I mean, this is a deadly, deadly special teams unit, and we all know that Belichick loves special teams. So I think that that, um, it's it's interesting. I feel like special teams has been a very big move, and I know we're looking at getting another possible wide receiver, but um, more, he's more of a uh, special teams unit ace. So if we get him, we are more than stacked on special teams. Now, if you don't believe that Slater is one of the best, you obviously have never heard of Pro Bowl because Slater has been to seven Pro Bowls. Seven. That is crazy. And he also won in 2017 the Bart Starr Award as the player who most exemplifies character and leadership across the league. That's just amazing. Um, Honestly... This isn't just about on the field. Slater brings something into the locker room, into practice, that no other person can. And it has been said for years throughout the players, throughout the coaches, throughout everyone, that Slater really is the guy that gets people hyped, that gets people going, that gets people motivated. And that is what New England needs, especially with all the drama going on. And by the way, if you haven't watched the video that I posted about what is going on with all that drama and why, Patriots, and why players don't want to play for the Patriots, Link is down in the description below. Make sure that you guys hit it up. But the Patriots selected him in the um in the draft. He was around five in the 2008 draft, and the Patriots never really used him as a wide receiver. He really has pretty much been a special teams ace, to be quite honest. Um, we'll you'll see him now and then in there. But you really won't see him getting catches unless we are very, very <laughs> on on the injured side of players. Then Slater probably would be stepping in. But you won't really see him a wide receiver that often. But that's it for today's video, guys. I mean, there's really not much to say about this. Um, I mean, Slater signed for another two years. There's a great, a great signing, to be quite honest. But that's it for today's video. Make sure you guys check out my other videos. Check out my channel. Subscribe so you know when other videos come out. And that's it for today's video. Take care, Pass Nation. Okay.